It's the yellow corner and we're back with yet another installment and this time we bring you our way trip as we travel to Stellenbosch to take on Stellis in game week 22 of the DSTV Premier League on Sunday afternoon. Raps, how's it? I'm not the Izoena. Yes, I'm very, very tired and I'm tired, tired. I've been up since 3 a.m. I've been up since 3 a.m. And I've been watching my favorite uh, YouTube uh, channels. So, yeah, it's on Gibraltar, you had it. But I'm good, good, man. Uh, no complaints. Uh, after yet another win, your son downs, man. It, yeah. it just won't stop. Yeah. yeah? What are your favorite YouTube channel? YouTube channel is the Womusa Kauna Kopo. Which one? <laughs> no, man. Uh, the kickoff, the club, uh, the overlap. Like uh, Anfield rap YouTube channel start with a club with a ball. I don't watch nonsense, man. <laughs> Raps, what, when last did we win? When last did we lose a football match? The last time we lost, I think it was yeah. against Orlando Pirates. Yeah, Copa Loco. That was the last time we lost. Yo. People have got into relationships, got dumped, reconciled, getting married now since the last time we lost. Yeah. Um, before we start, guys, please uh, subscribe. Please help us to get to a thousand uh, subscribers by the, by uh, Easter. Uh, we are on 600 and something right now, so it's possible to get to a thousand. So please do help us uh, with that. And don't forget to click on that notification bell so that you can get a notification when it drops because this episode is going to drop later than we normally drop because we played a game a, 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 a day before. So, yeah, perhaps let's get into it, man. Like I said, we're doing a preview of our match against Stelis on Sunday. Have you been surprised by uh, how indifferent their season has been so far? Yeah, and I think we uh, didn't have a, a great start. And uh, I remember at some point when, when we were talking, uh, we said we, we wouldn't be shocked if Stellenbosch, they fired their, their head coach, but they stick with him and things are starting to turn around. <laughs> and I, 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 I think that uh, in the second round of the league, I think they did very well. Uh, even though I, I, I think that they still have to push more harder because I believe they have a good side. Yeah, no. At some point, it didn't look uh, 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 really good for uh, Steve Barker. I mean, there was a point whereby they went nine games without a win. And uh, in the PSL, when that happens, the club fires you. But yeah, the club uh, showed trust in him. And here they are right now. Uh, they seem to have regained their uh, form. Uh, what do you think has led to this because last season they did well they finished uh, fourth what do you think has led to them struggling this season because now for now i think uh the main issue is that as good as it is to introduce a young players i feel like at some there needs to be a balance you know uh, uh, at some point it felt it looked like still is from their ddc club you know so it's, it's, I think that has played a role. I'm not saying clubs should not give youngsters a chance. I'm saying there needs to be a balance. And at some point, I think there wasn't that balance. Hence, they find themselves where they are today. Yeah, no, I think uh, what I've witnessed is that after they released the likes of uh, uh, Quinica, who was very key for them in defense, and uh, Dupri, who was scoring goals for them up front. After they released them, they started to struggle because of they couldn't find the replacement. I think they replaced those uh, uh, senior and good players with uh, uh, boys from the, the, the MDC. But uh, I think now 
they are aware of that uh, uh, problem. Hence, they brought back Reynas into the team. True, true, man. Uh, we'll touch on Reynas a bit uh, later. Uh, they have won three of their last three PSL matches. And uh, if you add the Netbank Cup uh, match against uh, Solos, that makes it four. Has this game come at the right time for them, considering the, uh, their recent uh, uh, form? Yeah, I think it is came out at the right time because of they are in a position where I believe they are more confident and I think they are they want to test themselves against a good side such as Mamu Sandals. I believe it was going to be uh, I, I believe that this, this feature would have came at the wrong time if uh, uh, they were still struggling, if they were not winning, if they haven't won those four games in a row. So I believe this game came at the right time for them because of how they are playing currently and uh, the amount of uh, points they've managed to collect. I, I concur. I think this has come at a, a, a right time for them. And for me, this is a serious, a, a potential banana, serious potential banana skin for Sundowns, man. Um, I'm confident going into this game like any other game because right now, uh, I fear absolutely no one, but there's a potential uh, a slip up in this match because they, 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 they are informed, the confidence is high, and they want to be that team that uh, gives Olan his first end. So, yeah, it will be a really difficult uh, game for, 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 for Sundowns. Perhaps there's a player that I really like in that team. I think a lot of people like, and I think there's a team in the south of Johannesburg that really likes him, and uh, they are looking to lure him into uh, 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 their club in uh, Junior Mendieta. Man, is Mendieta too good for Stelis? I mean, uh, he when you uh, look at his goals and assists, he's uh, I think level with uh, Shaluni. He's uh, scored five goals in the Premier Soccer League and assisted uh, six. Um, is he too good for Stelis? I. I don't think he is too good for Stelis because of if you compare Stellenbosch with the team that have shown interest on Yena uh, Mendieta, uh, I think that team not an entire Saudi. So <laughs> he's going to a team of the game. He's going to a team of the game. Trophies are not guaranteed. And unless Stellenbosch don't even won a trophy. So I wouldn't say he's too good uh, 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 for Stellenbosch. I believe he will go... One of the reasons why he will go to a, a bigger team, more like Parrots or Chief, it is because of uh, the, the, the exposure he will get uh, in those teams and also maybe uh, the, fi the financial part, I think maybe it will make sense to him. But in terms of uh, uh, looking for trophies, and other stuff, I don't think uh, if Stelis matches contracted on a guy taller in Soweto, he'd rather stay at Stelis. Mm. Yeah, no, clearly the only place where trophies are guaranteed get local up, eh? because yeah, it's been a while but one must have been little. But I understand what you're saying. The only thing that would uh, be uh, tempting for him, it would be the exposure that comes with playing for one of the big clubs as well as the salaries. As much as uh, that club uh, still is owned by a very wealthy man, I don't think, uh, I probably think maybe they have a cap, any salary, and they don't want to go uh, uh, over that. You know? uh, in the recent uh, uh, transfer window, the January mid-season transfer window, they brought back a player uh, uh, that helped them uh, gain promotion in Reynas, they also brought a very experienced player in the Dijon, but they lost a uh, vital cog to their side, a very experienced player in the uh, 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 who was uh, their captain. Uh, what are your thoughts of uh, uh, when it comes to that? Because I think for from my side, I think they what they uh, offensively, the signings that they made made uh, make a very uh, 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 a good sense. 
because uh, Reynas was not playing at Super Sport, but he, we all know uh, the, 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 what he can deliver. And De Jong, I think De Jong is a very good player. I'm surprised though it, it never worked out for him at Amazulu and uh, and uh, well, uh, I think they'll bring the, 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 the required experience. And as you've seen, they, 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 uh, Reynas has been firing, you know. But I think they blundered that by letting the Hude uh, go. I don't know what was the issue, but I think that the experience that he brings in to the team, because they're considering quite a lot. And if there's one, one position uh, where they struggle a lot is the centre-back uh, 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 position, because they change quite a lot the centre-back uh, Zabuona. So I, that really surprised me when they let Eddie. Uh, he, he, he might not be an, a world-class player, but I think he was good enough for a team of uh, 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 their standard. Uh, your thoughts? Yeah, no. And uh, 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 the Hude uh, is a team leader. Uh, he's vocal at the back and he's experienced. And what I found surprising is that when they played Orlando Perret go Orlando, they defended with a 21-year-old centre-back and an 18-year-old centre-back. So it shows uh, the centre-back pairing is not yet matured. As much as they can be good, but you also need maturity and you also need uh, 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 experience here and there. Definitely, definitely. And uh, let's looking at uh, their current league position. They are currently ninth. They have played twenty one games. They have won only six, drawing eight, losing seven. They have scored at uh, twenty four goals, conceding twenty eight. So their goal difference is minus four. Uh, they are currently on twenty six points, and their uh, the other points per game average is uh, one point four. Uh, let's talk about what we expect from them. Uh, I've looked at um, their recent games and they seem to have a now more stable uh, lineup. Yes, it will change got two or one player, but now you have an idea of who will play for Stelis, which I think has helped them uh, get the, uh, 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 the wins that they've got. Because I think when you constantly change lineup, you you can't build rhythm, you know, you can't build relationships between players. You look at Chelsea. They've spent crazy amount of uh, money on good players, but Potter changes his lineup each and every match. Hence, they can't find a rhythm. Yet. He has the players, but he, you, you, he, there's no a, 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 a rhythm in that uh, team. Man. And Van Roy, I was surprised when I was looking at the stats. Or he doesn't have an assist this season. Surprised because of the, the, the way that guy bombs forward. He doesn't wait. Once they build play, he doesn't even wait to see where, uh, if it's on the left, if they're able to progress and they don't lose them. No, he moves that guy. He he motors forward. And that's what uh, uh, I think he will look to do uh, uh, on, 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 on Sunday. Uh, Mendieta, Mendieta is difficult to mark. I think Baka just tells Mendieta, move wherever you want to move. Do whatever uh, you want to do. So he'll be really, really crucial uh, 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 for them. Uh, he can come to the left and uh, uh, look to cut inside because he's right footed, or he be uh, behind the, the, the main striker. And uh, there's one thing that I wanted to say that I, 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 oh, he has this, uh, he's very good at making that run into the edge of uh, 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 the box. He does get into the box sometimes, but sometimes he just uh, stays uh, 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 on the edge waiting for a cut, cut back. And then there's this boy, Titus, who is in great uh, goal scoring form. I think he's going to give us a lot of uh, uh, problems, not just him, uh, uh, but uh, Reynas as well. Reynas, Reynas absolutely made us when Supersport uh, gave us our L in the Premier Soccer League at Atrejville. And uh, him running behind uh, uh, the defense, he's he, he we, we we have to be really careful of, of, of that. You know? And the thing is, in they move the ball forward very quickly, they don't waste time, they don't mind by passing the middle field and then just uh, playing ball uh, behind the the, the the defense. So they we they're really good in transition. So those are some of the things that I think they will look to bring into this match. Your side. Yeah, no, I think uh, 
they will obviously look for 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 their full backs to 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 be the ones that also help them to create opportunity and also to have numbers up front because of Basadin is one of the left left backs who loves to go forward and deliver crosses as we saw in the first round of the uh, league is a, a combination with uh, Mendiet in terms of crosses. I think it worked very well. And also uh, Van Royen. Sometimes he cuts inside or sometimes he goes too wet to the to the channel. And I believe in Tetra in this game he will be very vital in terms of how, how he shut down space, how he read uh, the passes from Sanders and how he, he, he also want to intercept the ball because of Sanders is a team that wants to dominate the middle field. And I foresee a, a Barker maybe overloading the middle field so that he shut down those spaces where Sanders wants to, to occupy. And he spoke about a, a, a De Jong and Mendieta and Reynas. I think their partnership is starting to come uh, very well. And I think they complement each other very well. You look at uh, De Jong. He doesn't have the pace compared to the other two. So what he does, he drops a little bit closer to the middle fielder and Mendieta Le Rinas are the ones who are making runs behind the defense because of the pace and the skill that they have. And uh, 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 Dion it makes sense to drop deep because he doesn't have pace, but he has the intelligence to see a pass and to combine with other uh, uh, front players. And what I've witnessed from Reynas is that with all those years, all, all the goals he has scored for Stellenbosch so far, it came from different situations and different positions. He can make a run behind the defense. He can take a shot outside the box, or he can stay inside the box and wait for the ball to come to him. So it shows you he is very dangerous or he's a threat everywhere inside, everywhere inside the pitch. Mm-hmm. All all around a good forward basically. Um, yeah. This is how I think they will line up. I think they will have Sage uh, Stephens as their number one. Hopefully, uh, he goes back to the form that uh, or let there off. He had uh, a few weeks ago where he was giving goals away. So hopefully, it will be that <laughs> like that on uh, Sunday. And they are back for I think it will be Van Roy and right back, and the two centre backs will be Makaya, Makanya in uh, Sibia, Basedin at left back. I think they will have a double pivot there, uh, the Jabal Alim Teto. And then uh, on uh, the, the other side, it will be De Jong, Le Titus, and then Mendieta just uh, behind uh, uh, Reynas. How and why can we hit uh, them, Rapela? I think uh, because of the, the, the Stellenbosch pitch, it is a little bit small. So, as I, I said already, Steve Barker would want to, to overload the middle field. So it, 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 it will cause congestion in the middle field. So for us, if they come with that approach where they overload the middle field, that means we have to make good movement and also we need to make good passes. And most importantly, most important, we need to take care of the ball. We need to know when to recycle, recycle the ball when to shift the ball and shift the pressure, and also when to, to, to attack. And the team that struggles a lot with set pieces. So I think with the head of a, a grand table, Busa Lebo, Enval, I, I believe we can try and cause a, a something a, 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 for, 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 for them. I think uh, because of uh, how forward thinking Van Royen is, he will definitely leave a lot of room uh, uh, on that side. And I think um, this is one game where maybe Mudiba needs to uh, uh, take uh, advantage of that uh, uh, space that Van Royen leaves. And with him leaving, he leaves the two center backs plus Basadin, or just the two center backs when Basadin has gone up later. So in transition, and uh, 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 we can help them because there's lack of experience. Now. And with both uh, full backs moving forward, it means uh, um, Teto is uh, most of the time has to cover for uh, uh, one of them. 
And Jabba hasn't hit the form that he uh, he, he showed last season. So Mteta will have will be left exposed in most uh, most of uh, the time. And I think even if they play Kai uh, Mendes with uh, three, you know, six A one and eight is A two, maybe Jabba and Julius the uh, eight. I think Julius started well at the beginning of the season, but his form has dipped clear now. And Jabba is not the player that he was last season. Yeah? Uh, I think we need to destroy them got possession. I mean, if we keep uh, possession, it frustrates them. More so, it frustrates their most uh, 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 offensive players. You look at uh, Kima Mendieta. He's had uh, five yellow cards this season, since the, 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 the season started. Tells you, and you, even when you watch them, he, 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 he gets frustrated and throws hands around when things are not going uh, his, his way. Uh, so yeah, let's first hit him and uh, 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 keep in possession. I think we need to defend a few meters back because these guys have pace. Titus has pace. Reynas has pace. Lumen Geta has pace as well. So if we are too too high up, they can get behind us uh, uh, easily. So yeah, those are some of the things that I I think we need to do uh, to win uh, this match. Your lineup. And, uh... Yeah, okay. I, I want to add. I, don't, I want to add something. Tere, uh, you spoke about their full backs overlapping. So I think if you want to create that space central, I believe uh, my Lula should be the one trying to go wide and draw one centre back with him to create a space for Shalili. Because of what I've witnessed is that Shalili is more dangerous inside the box because he can score and he can sense a goal. And Mailu Laina is good in terms of going wide and protecting the ball and seeing other players around him. So I believe Mailu Laina should be the one that moves more on the ball and off the ball and should really be the one who always uh, roaming inside the, 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 the 18 uh, 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 area. That's a very good point, Raps. Eh? Your lineup. Uh, my lineup will have a uh, Ronwen, Tapelo, Grant, Mvala, Maposam Diva, then my six, uh, Mukwena, then 280 to Alende, and Mayema. Then up front, uh, Temba, Shalulile, and uh, Kishias. Yeah, no, Lena, I... Wait, who are your Santa backs? Uh, my back for you, Tapelo, Grant, Mtobi, Mapos. Okay, now then I'll go with uh, the same lineup. Even though I'm 50 50, car, tap it, or down, either or, and go uh, with that. Uh, score prediction? I think we'll win one nil. I think it will be a tight game. And I, 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 I yeah? Yeah, who? And I think uh, Stellenbosch will try to throw something at us, but. I see a 1-0 uh, scoreline. I think we'll win it 1-0. I actually think it's going to be a high-scoring match. I'm, I've gone for 3-2, a 2-3. Uh, Sundowns winning 2-3. So, yeah, who's scoring for us? Uh, Peter Shalili. Hey, yeah, no. He's on the form, in the form of his life. Eh? I think Zwani Shalili and Mailula will score for us. <clears throat> Before he ends this, man, just want to wish uh, uh, Bogani Zumo a speedy recovery. Uh, when I didn't look at the, I, I, I hate seeing the injury, so I stood up and went to the kitchen when uh, I saw the way I roll, he rolled around and yeah, uh, Raps tells me it didn't look good because now I didn't want to see it and yeah, uh, wishing Strumba a speedy recovery, he was brilliant last night, he played a very, very good uh, 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 game, so yeah, hopefully he's not out for long because we need him, man. Play, Blesser, I think Blesser early in the first half against Al Ahly, he was holding what looked like uh, his groin. So hopefully, Lena is not a serious injury and they come back quickly. Not forgetting the other guys uh, 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 who have been in the injury list. Like, yeah, we need uh, uh, all of them as uh, we move forward to the tail end of the season. The positive side is that AB was in the squad that traveled to uh, Bloemfontein. So and we're close to getting some guys back, but yeah, man, fingers crossed. It's not a serious injury for 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 Stromba. And yeah, 
Uh, thank you guys uh, for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and yeah, keep commenting on the comments uh, uh, section. And yeah, uh, next time you see us will be next week, uh, either Thursday or either Wednesday or Thursday as we preview our second leg. Out, not our second leg, our uh, uh, home leg, yeah, versus Al Ahli in the Kev Champions League. Until then, Shapshap Masandawana, Shapshap Dogish. Shapshap Masandawana, Shosho Aizu.